Okay, greetings everyone and welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I'm going to welcome you to my channel, all my subscribers, all my peaches, all my triggers, haters, lovers, commenters, and scallywags. Each and every one of you, I want to welcome you to my channel. Well, you know what today is? Oh! Hey, come check this out. It's calling all comments and I'm going to uh, comment on some of your comments and again let's get rolling because i only for some reason i only can get through a few of those maybe because i'm a little long-winded on the response to your comment but here we go uh this first comment is from the video i did yesterday called uh, what was it called it was called um uh foreigners are not filipinos and then uh guess the birth date of, of my child and this first one is from Willie D, Willie D, what's up, Willie D? How you doing, brother? I haven't heard of you in a while. Willie D, the baby's coming on February 29th. Leap year, oh no. <laughs> don't put that curse on my child. Oh, I don't know. Some people that might like being born on uh, on February 31st, uh, whatever it is. Every four years they have a birthday, so I don't know. But uh, Leap year, we, I, I kind of talked that over with me, but, you know, uh, it's been discussed, but okay, yours is on on, um, on the 29th leap year, okay, uh, let's see what else, uh, this one is from Bob Willow, uh, 3rd of March, because my son's birthday, he was late, ah, oh, that's, that, that's a good lookout, <laughs> want to be born on your son's birthday, that sounds good, man. Let's see. So far, we got the 29th. We got the 3rd of March. And something tells me I need to get a little DNA test on you, Bob Willow. <laughs> and the next one is from, this one is also from, um, oh, this is a B. Gerard. B. Gerard is going to guess the 22nd of February. So we got um, the 29th. Uh, we got March 3rd, and we got the 22nd. Okay, okay. Uh, Sir Stoic. What's up, Sir Stoic? Sir Stoic says, I'm going to pair, I'm going to guess March 4th. March 4th. So we got the 29th, we, we got the 3rd, we got the 22nd, and we got the 4th. All those are good dates. It's going to be born somewhere around there, so whichever one of you come closest is, is kudos to you. And this was from um, Michael Myers. Michael, Michael Myers, how are you doing, man? Uh, he says, um, yes. Um, yes, the nighttime for us, morning for you. Uh, good luck with the birth, bro. You look great for 69. Take care. You do your thing. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that, Michael Myers. Hey, you know, it's funny because, you know, you know I like taking let me let let, uh, let me be saying that I'm, I'm not crazy about taking pictures about myself but every now and then you know i you know i get i might get into a mood where i said well hey here here take a picture of me because i'm feeling suave you know what i'm saying like this so yesterday me and i was somewhere in in um you know valencia and i and it had this like spiral staircase and it was a rail and the trees and 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 it was a in my mind it's like that'd be a nice picture of me and I standing there, my sitting and her standing over me with a big belly, a nice portrait type of picture. And so, you know, I got someone to take a picture, and when I saw it, I said, "Oh my God!" You know, I look like a walrus. <laughs> I was, I was like, I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is, right here. I said, "Oh wow!" <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you know. Uh, and now when I go play tennis in the morning, I walk and I run and I do some exercises because I really got to burn this midsection, you know, because my, my, my biggest hang up, hang up is laying down after I eat. I know I shouldn't do that, but you know, that's something that, you know, I, I have to work on, you know, I look at myself in pictures and, and like it's, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, you know, I look. <laughs> I know. I know. As long as as long as I can see my favorite tool, some of you know the stories. I'm a happy camper. Okay, but um, I thank you, Michael Myers, uh, for um, saying that I look good for '69. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, this this next one is going to be on the video. Um, 
Uh, let me see. Is there? I don't think there's comments on that. Oh no! Oh wow! Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go on. Uh, today I'm a winner. Uh, this is um. Uh, today I'm a winner. Uh, talk about the first of the month and what have you. Oh, wait, wait. Before we move on about the birth of the baby, all that stuff, let me throw another equation in there for you to guess. Okay? For some of you who, who didn't guess the date, maybe you'll have more fun guessing on how much it's going to cost hmm. to have to pay for my child being born. I've heard a hundred thousand. I've heard two hundred thousand. I heard under three hundred thousand. Now each hundred thousand is two thousand, not two thousand U.S. dollars. So, you know, uh, guess, guess what the hospital bill is going to cost to have this child. You know, it's it's not like it's in like in in the U.S. where you can go to a hospital, or whatever, and have the baby, and once it's, you know once the mother's recoup, you can go home and. And, and deal with the bills later. Here, <laughs> to my understanding, they will keep you and your child in the hospital until the bills paid. <laughs> so, so I'm really bracing myself, you know, and trying to make sure at least I have enough money to uh, to pay for it. So, so let's guess on how much it's going to cost to uh, bring a child into this world. A foreign a child, because the foreign that the fact that it's a foreign child, a foreign a child, does make a difference in the pricing. Let me tell you, from what I understand, you know that does make a difference. Okay, so um, this next one, uh, we we're going to talk about. This is um, on uh, uh today I'm a winner. This is our uh, rag jam rock. That was a huge, a huge risk you took uh, going over there with only five hundred dollars. <laughs> Uh, I'm too chicken to try that. <laughs> the current state of our economy is, is 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 forcing more men, especially if they're retired, to become passport bros. In order to survive on the fixed income, there are so many countries where your Social Security check uh, can go much further than in the U.S. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, it was it was taking a, a risk. I didn't look at it as a, a risk, right, Jamra, only coming over here at Fire Front, because all I all I had to do was just wait two weeks before the eagle landed. So you know, it it, it was um uh uh it was more important for me to change my environment because L Las Vegas had you know you know La Las Vegas hasn't been kind to me, you know, once I, you know, uh, once I, I ended up homeless there, living in a storage unit, you know, uh, being robbed so many times, and, you know, it, um, and, and plus my struggling moving too fast. So it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't a, a, a risk for me to make that jump. It was more of a risk of me staying in Vegas, because, uh, you know, <laughs> you know I, I could tell you the stories, you know, of, of, of um, someone threatened to shoot me, you know, because, you know, I, you know, I, I wouldn't co-sign for a vehicle, you know, because his, his child was being born in the hospital and they need, and, and, and it wanted me to co-sign and, and it's, it's a long story. So, yeah, so, yeah, I co-signed for him because I so, already saw this guy shoot somebody in the ass, you know what I'm saying, and, and then be there the next day and, and not go to jail for it because they, they knew they weren't going to tell who did it. So, so I knew I was running with some really, really, really rough people in Las Vegas. You know, uh, that, that's a whole chapter all in itself, you know. Um, but yeah, so um, it, was more, it was more of a risk me staying in Vegas, Rag Jam Rock, than it was for me getting, <laughs> getting out of the country. You know, so landing here, uh, you know, it, it was easy. It was easy. You know, all I had to do was just, you know, sit down and pat my pat my foot until the, until the first of the month came, and it worked out fine. You know, um, uh, uh, and there are a lot of places that are a lot more uh, easier to live and have a life and have a family than in the United States these days. I mean, the United States. To be honest with you, Rag Jammer, I I couldn't afford to live in the United States right now, and I get X amount of dollars a month. You know, I used to pay what 
fifteen hundred for for rent for a two bedroom. This was this is in, in uh, two thousand and sixteen. You hear those things falling? Whatever. Those are um, what do they call them? The dogs go crazy. <laughs> the dogs run and go get them. Those are mangoes, uh, mango trees, and when they drop. You know the dogs run in the, in the in the morning. They're all eating mangoes. You know, so so yeah. So um, uh, and paying the electric bill and all that stuff for car insurance. Yeah, I really couldn't afford to live in the United States now. So so you know, I, I think any fixed income that you have that um, Social Security, or whatever, uh, you can carve out a living here in the Philippines. I I sincerely believe that, Brad Jamrock. Okay, so um, with that being said. Uh, let's move on to uh, the next video. The next video it says, um, it says, uh, don't fall for the lending business. This is the one where I talked about loaning money and what have you. And who was it? Um, uh, Bob Willow says, good talk today. Thanks. Good. I'm glad you appreciate that. Because you know, often the time you're being a foreigner is there. You know, uh, people are going to come to you. And yeah, not only don't come to you, you're gonna wonder. You're gonna wonder about you know uh, how to invest in something, or is is there is something that you can invest in here in the Philippines? Well, first you got to get by the you know the criteria of what's needed, here, you know, to have a business, and and oftentimes that's you know that's you know. You need a Filipino like this. It's not like you can just walk in and and, and just file a small business um, uh, a license and 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 you know and open up your business or or uh, get your not for profit you know uh, status and and go ahead and do it. No, here it's a little bit more entailed. So you know, so you wonder how to find or you know kind to make money. And there are times that when people are going to come at you. And going to ask you to invest in certain things or whatever. You know, I have somebody now who has a pig and two pigs, and uh, he, he, you know, it's tempting. You know, it, it's tempting to, you know, to say, okay, look, I, you know, I, you know, I'll, I'll buy two piglets and throw it in there, and you feed it, and then we get to the market, you sell it, and then if it goes off, then our next time around, I'll, I'll go with maybe four. You know, it's very tempting. But but anything can happen like a festival and you say, oh, no, we cook that when they need it. <laughs> you know, but but uh, uh, yeah, uh, lending money is, is one of those businesses that people want to come at you and ask you to do, you know, go into the money lending business. And I I strongly re uh, uh, go against that. That one story I told you about a guy who who he called me and his Filipino would let him out of the house because, you know, uh, they were having you know money issues were larger because. You know, he was a money lender, and, and she was the one, you know, handling it. And and you know, and I don't know the the true specifics about that, but it all involved him loaning money out to Filipinos and and weren't getting paid. So anyway, so be that as it may, uh, sir, sir Stoic again. He says, um, um, a lot of wisdom in this one. Good. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate that, uh, uh, Sir Stoic. You know, I try to bring a little bit of something, you know, you know, uh, for whatever it's worth. But I try to bring a little knowledge and my experience about living inside a culture. Okay, this next one is you took my kids. Um, this this was this next one is um, uh, you took my kids, but God is blessing me with another one. Um, uh, okay, uh, this is um, uh, Michael Myers. Uh, Michael Myers Day. He says, uh, "I hear you. Congratulations on your newborn. Happy for you." Well, thank you very much, Michael. I really appreciate that. You know, I, as as we move closer and closer, I'm getting more and more kind of excited. <laughs> Mia is not slowing down. I mean, she's you know she's you know she's you know still doing what she has to do. Uh, our housekeeper is one who's slowing down. <laughs> But but that that's another time for another video, my brother. Okay, uh, but thank you for the the, um, the one. This this next one is uh, Nate's quest. Uh, Nate, I haven't heard from you in a while, my brother. Uh, he said a tough story. Yeah, man, it it is a tough story. You know, having children, you know, in the world who you want to be with, who who you supported, you know, who you know, uh, you know who you know who you want in your life. And and for whatever reason, you know they, they don't want to be there. And the one thing about my oldest daughter, because there there was one time, and and I stand in front of her and I said, hey, you know, Gianna, what, why, you know, what's wrong, you know? And she would shake and she, 
I'm just like you. I'm just like you. And I said, wow. <laughs> I said, I said, look, girl, if you're just like your daddy, you should be a bad little bitch. <laughs> and she turned out to be a bad little bitch, but, you know, <laughs> as far as she came from her father, you know, because she was very strong willed. And, uh, and so, but, but she, you know, she couldn't explain to you why she feels the way she does. And, and, and that's the sad thing about it is that she doesn't know why it's just stuff that's been implanted in her head and it still hurts to this day. Um, I, uh, thanks, Michael. I mean, uh, uh, thanks, Nick, for mentioning that, uh, making me talk about that. This one is from Des Going Global. Hey, Des, what's up, baby? How you feeling? Uh, he says, what's up, Gerard? <laughs> it's been a minute since I commented on one of your videos, but shout out to you and Mia with your new child. But guess what? You and Mia is not the only ones expecting. Uh, my Filipina is also pregnant with the first child. Whenever uh, whenever I get to do Maggetti, we definitely get the link up. But until then, take care, my brother. Well, thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate that. And congratulations to you and yours. Okay, so, uh, and yes, we definitely got the hook up. All right, you've been watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. You know, just gave me just, you know, doing a little something, something. I remember dreams are nothing more than, <laughs> I'm still working on that time slot. Yesterday's video was supposed to be at a later date, but I got stuck at the tennis court with nothing to do, so I said, hey, what the hell? And then here I am posting at the same time, but we'll see. Maybe I just need to post two videos a day. How about that? <laughs> okay, because I don't want to lose what small audience I have now because I changed the time slot. So remember, dreams are nothing more than plans of winning action. Never disrespect Elliot. Always pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. I'm living good today. I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, former lead singer, the Temptation One song, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king and never say no. May you live to be 100 and me 100 minus a day. So I'll never know that nice people like you have gone away. I'll always live you more. Peace.